Can we get a drum roll, please? Oh, no. You need to work on that. Welcome to Ask the Beauty Advisor, a podcast that answers your health and beauty questions. Hosted by health and beauty advisor, Deanna Lynn. Hey there, thank you for tuning in today to Ask the Beauty Advisor. This is the podcast where we talk about all things health and beauty. And I'm your host, Deanna, who's here to get answers for all your health and beauty questions. And on today's episode, I'm going to be answering a listener's question about micronutrients. That's right. Did you know that just by bulking up on extra micronutrients, You can have this healthy, youthful essence that comes from within. Well, we're going to be talking about that today. I'm also going to share with you some of my favorite fall foods and share how easily you can incorporate some of these foods into your daily skincare routine. So it sounds like we have a lot to talk about today. So let's go ahead and get started. You know, I think I'm going to just mix it up a little bit today. I think I'm going to take the last segment of the show which is about the fall foods, and put it first today and answer the listener's question about micronutrients. Save that for the last part of the show. I think I'm going to do that just for fun. What do you think about that, Hazel? Please tell us more. All right then, Hazel, let's do this. Now for something a little bit more fun. In this segment, we're going to be talking about some of my favorite fall foods and how you can easily incorporate these foods into your skincare routine. Fall is just around the corner, and even though it's not official for the next three weeks, I'm more than ready for the sweaters, the falling leaves, the crisper air. And yes, even here in California, we do have fall. And perhaps best of all for me, The holiday foods and the fall foods are my favorite time and my favorite foods of all year round. In fact, I'm so excited about fall cooking. I've already switched all of my candles over to um, fall, my favorite apple pie scent, pumpkin scent. I'm ready for the fall. Now, if you're like me and you love all the flavors of the fall, you'll be glad to know lots of the fall foods have tremendous beauty benefits. So in order to get you excited about the fall and into the spirit, I'm going to share a couple of foods that you can stock up on. Can you tell I'm really excited about this? And the best part is, these are foods you can eat, and then you can use them in your do-it-yourself beauty masks. That's right. I think that's pretty neat. Let's start with one of the healthiest foods, apples. Whether you're a fan of apple picking, or you just love finding the perfect red apple in the grocery store, grabbing some apples is one of the healthiest things you can do for your complexion. Did you know that? Yep, that's right. Apples are high in fiber, which helps regulate blood sugar spikes. And that's important because when your blood sugar goes up, it can induce a process called glycation, which harms our skin cells and causes rapid visual aging. And we don't want that, do we? So when you're craving a sweet treat, an apple is always a good bet. And for a beauty treatment or a beauty mask, apples are high in malic acid, a natural skin exfoliant, often found in some of the high-end spa peels. So using fresh applesauce on your skin or simply rubbing a slice of apple over your face can help give you a fresh, youthful glow at a fraction of the cost that you'd find at a spa. Now, I think that most of us have heard the benefits of pumpkins. Eating pumpkins' reputation is a superfood as well deserved, especially in the beauty department, with high levels of essential look younger nutrients like vitamin E, vitamin B6, copper, magnesium, potassium, It belongs on every beauty guru's shopping list. And perhaps you've noticed already all the pumpkin-based products at your local beauty store. And that's for a good reason. The high vitamin A content 
is well known for smoothing out wrinkles and freshening the skin's appearance. So then, by simply adding just a bit of pumpkin, maybe about a teaspoon to your usual facial cleanser once or twice a week, you can really enjoy a natural smoothing effect that's truly awesome for your skin. Now, have you heard about the health and beauty benefits of cinnamon? You know, as a scent, there's nothing that screams fall more than cinnamon. Just a dash is all it takes, and it'll give your fall beauty regimen a major boost. And also, in case you didn't know, eating cinnamon is known for its balancing effects on a blood sugar level. Like we mentioned before, controlling your blood sugar is key to keeping the skin youthful and preventing glycation-related damage. And yes, that means you can combine apples and cinnamon. This is a great way to move your taste buds and your skin. In a mask, cinnamon slightly spiciness can bring an extra blood flow to your skin, meaning more essential oxygen and nutrients. It can also help to give you a fantastic rosy glow. Now, just a dash, that's all you need to do an at-home mask of any kind. In fact, one of my clients, one of my clients of many years swears by a banana, honey, and cinnamon mask once weekly. And believe me, this woman looks amazing. Okay, so now that I've shared three of my favorite fall beauty foods, I want to hear from you. I want to hear about some of your favorite beauty treatments and favorite fall foods. If you have any special beauty treatments or fall recipes that you'd like to share with us here on the show, shoot me an email. I'd love to hear from you. That's Deanna at BeautyRadioNetwork.com. This article came from my favorite doctors over at Beverly Hills, MD. Check them out. You've got mail, Miss Lynn. All right, so today I have an interesting letter from Kathleen. Let me read this to you. For years, I have fought the condition of anorexic to the point where I almost lost my life. Without going into further details about that, because it is a long story, I have now become obsessed with nutrition and I'm learning a lot about micronutrients. I would love to hear you do an episode about micronutrients. Can you tell us exactly what they are and how they affect our body, our skin, and our health? I do enjoy listening to your podcast. It's very informative. Keep up the good work. Thanks a lot for all you do, Kathleen. Hey, Kathleen, thank you very much for um, your letter. Thank you for listening to the show. And yes, you're right. Micronutrients are so important to our health and skin. And I think it's about time that we talked about this. So thank you again for this suggestion. The state of our skin is often dismissed as nothing more than a beauty concern. But in reality, it's much more important than that. Our skin is the largest organ in the body. Our skin is one of the first places to show signs of problems within the body, particularly deficiencies and imbalances. Now, micronutrients are vital for good health, but they're also vital for radiant skin. And almost everyone survives on less than the optimal levels they need. So now first, let me answer the question, what are micronutrients? And without getting too sci-fi-ish, micronutrients are nutrients that we require in very small quantities. They're vitamins and minerals, and they're essential to our good health, but we only require them in milligrams or micrograms, as opposed to macronutrients. Now, macronutrients are the different types of food, which you might adjust if you were like losing weight, such as fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. However, if you were to break these components down even further, you'd discover the very building blocks of our food, such as vitamins and minerals, amino acids, and essential fatty acids. These are what's known as micronutrients. Micronutrients are essential 
for glowing skin and vibrant health. But keep in mind, the recommended daily allowance for micronutrients are simply the minimal levels to prevent serious diseases that are associated with the deficiencies. To truly thrive rather than just survive, you'll likely need a bit more than just the recommended daily allowance. Now let's talk about the effects that micronutrients have on the skin. The appearance of your skin will be a good indicator as to whether your body is suffering an imbalance or a deficiency of micronutrients. So now there are many different ways in which this could manifest, such as dryness, wrinkles, or even conditions such as psoriasis, eczema, and sometimes even acne. Now these skin conditions aren't always caused by a micronutrient deficiency. There can be a number of different underlining causes, but you'll find that micronutrient deficiencies are at least in part a primary root cause for many skin problems. It's also important for me to stress that although there are a number of different micronutrients that are particularly good for the skin, they will only be achieved to the maximal benefit when used in combination with each other. So what I'm saying here is micronutrients are a team, not a solo act. They help each other to be absorbed by the body. So focusing on just one in isolation generally doesn't yield the best results. There are some individual micronutrients that are particularly beneficial to the skin, and many of these are antioxidants. The body is damaged by free radicals, but antioxidants gobble up and help cells to renew and regenerate which is particularly helpful for our aging and sun-exposed skin. Examples of these are vitamin A, C, and E, all of which are fantastic for the skin. Vitamin D3 is another healing skin micronutrient that can be particularly useful for combating psoriasis, provided that the cause is the deficiency. Essential fatty acids are also essential micronutrients for skin health. Omega-3s are anti-inflammatory, as well as nourishing and hydrating for our cells. Omega-3 from fish oils contain the crucial components of DHA and EPA in a form that's easy for our bodies to use. Most skin conditions do have an underlying inflammatory cause and the anti-inflammatory effects of omega-3s can help to counteract this. So where now do we find these micronutrients? Lots of micronutrients can be found within food, but it's absolutely crucial to get them from the right sources, choosing organic, local, GMO-free, free-range, wild and grass-fed foods does make a big difference in the nutrient levels. Produce that is organic, local, and fresh is going to have a much higher level of micronutrients over foods that have been processed or chemically laden foods that travel from a long distance. The closer you are to picking your produce, the less time it has to dissipate the naturally occurring micronutrients like antioxidants. Also, farmed fish, caged chickens, and cows that don't get to eat grass will not deliver the same results as those that are wild and free. Just like what we eat makes a difference, the foods the animals eat that we consume is also important too. Now, many people need supplements in order to get the right nutrients that their skin and body needs. There is also so much I can say about supplements. And we'll go into that more at another time. But the most important takeaway is quality. Of course, you know, there are loads of supplements available today, but they are not all created equally. And in fact, some can actually be dangerous for your health. Now, here's a few more things to consider. If you have a super healthy diet and even take supplements, 
but you're still showing signs of a micronutrient deficiencies, and that would be things like dry skin, brittle hair and nails, and chronic skin conditions, that could mean that you have an absorption issue, which means that maybe you're not absorbing, your body's not absorbing all the micronutrients from your food. If you have any digestive symptoms such as gas, bloating, or constipation, diarrhea, that can be a sign that you're not digesting your food and absorbing all your food's nutrients. However, not everyone who has absorption issues has digestive symptoms. Now, in order to support the digestion of your food and absorb all of the micronutrients, you may want to consider digestive enzymes and probiotics. Find yourself and talk with a naturopathic physician about getting tested for absorption issues and nutritional deficiencies. Addressing micronutrient deficiencies will support a healthy glow that comes from within. And that healthy glow that comes from within can't be faked. It has to be real. And that healthy glow gives you the appearance of being vibrant, healthy, and youthful. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for the show, or you'd like to get a free skincare analysis, I'd be happy to help you with that. You can contact me, Deanna, at beautyradionetwork.com. You can visit me on my Facebook page, or you can visit the blog for more articles, askthebeautyadvisor.com. That was awesome, Miss Lynn. Well, thank you, Hazel. You're awesome, too. <laughs> All right, well, that ends today's show. I hope I'll see you next week. I'm going to close out the show now. Hazel, what do you have to say? That's all we got, folks. Ask the Beauty Advisor is a part of the Beauty Radio Network. If you have a podcast or need help in starting a podcast and would like to be a part of a free, supportive network, then learn more by contacting Deanna at beautyradionetwork.com.